If you want to turn more prospects into customers, you need more case studies. Case studies are not nice to have anymore. It doesn't matter what size of business you are, case studies are essential because that is the only time in your entire marketing funnel your prospects will actually see real stories from real people. So it is one of the best ways to build trust with your customers. But I know, building case studies is hard. First, you gotta talk to the customer, you gotta schedule a call with them, you gotta jump on an interview with them, talk to them for an hour. I mean, that's probably the easy part. But after that, once you have all the data, turning that into case study is tedious work and takes a lot of time. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to make all that pain disappear. We're going to build an automation that can take your customer interview and turn that into a case study automatically in like 30 seconds. So let's dive in. So we're going to use Zapier as a platform to build our automation. There are two ways you can start this. Either you can connect your AI meeting note ticker. It could be Zoom, Fireflies, Otter. There are a whole bunch of AI meeting note tickers. So whichever you or your company uses, you can connect that directly. But we don't want this automation to trigger every time there's a new meeting being transcribed because, you know, sometimes you have internal meetings or other external meetings with the customers. I mean, we can, of course, add filters filters for keywords and stuff for the transcript, or there's a simpler way. We're just gonna use Google Sheets as an alternative. So I have a Google Sheet here where every time I have a customer interview, I'm just gonna take the transcript from any meeting software I use, I'm just gonna paste it here, and this is gonna trigger my automation, which means our first step in our automation is gonna be adding a Google Sheets. So here under the setup, we're gonna connect Google Sheets as an app, and our event is gonna be new spreadsheet row. So now every time I have a new customer interview, I add the transcript as a new row, and it's gonna trigger my automation, and it's gonna result into the case study, which we're just gonna build right now. So one once I have my event connected and my accounts authorized, Zapier can actually look at the data on my spreadsheet. I'm gonna configure here, which just means I'm gonna pick the right spreadsheet and the right worksheet where I'm gonna be putting my data. And I'm just gonna test the connection to make sure everything is working fine. My next step is gonna be using AI to take all the data and then turn that into something more usable. So here I have an option to either use Claude or ChatGPT. For a lot of the writing work, I like using Claude so I'm just gonna search for Claude here. I'm gonna set it up. So setting up is simple. I'm gonna select my event. In this case, it's sending a message. You know, Claude is a big LLM, uh, which we use, you know, in general purpose. In this case, we wanna send a message with our details so it can, you know, give us the output. And then under configuration, I'm gonna add my transcript. So I'm gonna take the transcript, which is the row in my spreadsheet, and put that as a user message. And under system message, I'm just gonna put my prompt here. So this is like the prompt which I've generated to tell AI, you know, what is a case study and how do you build one. and then asking AI to like take the user interview transcript and use my master prompt to turn that into a case study. So I'm just gonna test it just to make sure everything is connected properly. Usually like, you know, all your tests are gonna pass if you're following all the steps. Just in case, you know, the test fails, it's gonna tell you what went wrong and then there's gonna be a button for you to troubleshoot. So just go through it. Or if you have any questions, like just leave a comment if you run into any issues. I'm sure someone from the team is gonna be responding to you shortly. All right, our next step here is gonna be adding Google Docs. So once we have our case study generated, we want a place to store those case studies. You know, this could be your Dropbox, Google Drive, you know, Google Docs. Again, really depending on what you want to do, this could be a Notion doc as well. Or if you want to turn this into a task in Asana, you can connect your Asana, Monday.com, basically any platform where you can, you know, create a document or like send information to, we're going to do that here. I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to set up a Google Docs here and I'm going to use Google Docs as my app and the event is going to be create document from text. I'm going to connect my Google account now and under configuration, I have an option to put a document name and then the document content. So I'm just gonna put a hard code here, which is case study. There's also an option where you can extract the name of the case study from my results from Claude and use that as a document name. I mean, ideally that's the best scenario, but I just wanna keep this automation simple. So we're not getting into too many little details for perfection, So we're just gonna keep it simple. I'm just gonna call it case study and my document content is gonna be the result that's being generated by Claude in our second step. And now we're gonna test it just to make sure it's working well. And it looks like everything's passing. So we're gonna publish the app. Now every time I have a customer interview and I take the transcript and I add it to my Google Sheet, it's gonna automatically turn that into a case study, which is in my Google Docs. Now I can have someone on the team to actually review it just to make sure everything actually sounds good and accurate you know, do the formatting and we can publish it on the website. Of course, all the formatting and publishing step could also be done in the automation. Leave a comment if you want a tutorial on how to do the formatting and publishing all automatically as well. But I like to do like a quick human review before I publish anything that's generated by AI. That's why I like to keep my automations this way where we have a quick human intervention just to make sure everything, you know, being written by AI is accurate and not hallucinated. So I hope you were able to follow this step by step. Uh, you learned something new. You have some creative juices flowing. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If you like this video this was useful give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the next videos